everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Crafts. Now today we are not going to make a card, but we are looking at how to make an album. Um, I have done some preparation, so the album, um, I'm going to show you um, basically the, um, the basic, you know, the basis of the album, how to make that. And I will do the decoration, but that will be a lot quicker and you'll be able, obviously, you'll be decorating it the way you want. Um, this is an album that I made um, with a couple, quite a f um, some time ago um, and it's uh, stamping up paper that was in, in the Vogue then, obviously, but now today we are going to use um, this paper, Moonlight. I've got the, um, the stack of it and that's uh, the one that we are going to use as well. I've got already lots of things cut out from it. So um, we'll put this to the side and we'll get started. I'm just going to get my phone and I'm going to see what time it is so I don't, so the video doesn't sort of, you know, will won't take forever ever ever. Right, so <coughs> um, I'm using a 12 by 12 Lost Lagoon and you're going to score it, so cutting blade at the bottom, you're going to score it at three and three fourths, three fours, so three and three quarters, score. Then you're going to score it at four, and this is an album that you can put stuff in, it doesn't matter, you've got some space to put things in. Seven and seven eighths. Seven eights there and eight and one eighth. Oh no, I did that wrong. Seven, what did I do? Seven and seven eighths. Yeah, I did it wrong. Should have been here. Never mind. If I don't fold it, it should be okay. And then eight and one eighth there. <clears throat> okay, then we're going to turn it. So disregard this line. <laughs> We're going to turn it uh, and score it at two and one eighth. I'm always doing that. Two and one eighth. So those are the flaps at the top. And then seven and one fourth. Seven and a quarter. There we go. Metric is so much easier than Imperial. <laughs> but never mind. That's the way it is here. Right, so then we are going to score some score lines and as I've missed scored we have to be really careful. So always score towards the mountain. Right, okay. So then we score these ones, this one. So that's sort of the thickness of your little album. And in this you know, in this sort of season where you're making memories and stuff like that, it's always nice to have a little album, not immediately to put your picture in because obviously you need to get those printed off, but, but if you print them in your printer then that's fine. But you know, to have little tickets and little labels that you might want to keep and stuff like that. So, right, so we've got this line here, but I'm sure that's going to be fine. I can disregard that. Okay, because it'll be covered up later on, so you won't uh, notice that anyway. So now we need to do some cutting, but before we do some cutting, I'm going to get my cutter back. So these are the top flaps, and these are the pockets, but of course now the pockets are all the way up there. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut off um, one and a quarter, no, one and one fourth, that's this, yeah, of length. All right. <clears throat> and I'm also going to cut these in bits because we're going to use them. So this can be cut there. This, um, yeah, I'm getting confused a bit with that extra line, but I mean, <clears throat> I could have started again. I could have started filming again. But to be honest, I'm sure that people at home make mistakes too. And there's no point in really... I've done this before. And there's no point in really starting again. You can hide a score line that you've done wrong. So there's no, no problem here really. 
I have done this before and I've hidden it successfully before so there we go so before we do anything else now we're going to cut out uh, this here because we do need the thickness for our album but we don't need that at the um, at the top for our flaps um, in my previous little album I rounded all the corners and I also edged them I daubed them with um, you know with a, with um, I think it was crumb cake but obviously that's going to take too long for me to do that now but I do recommend you do that because that does you know make it look a lot nicer and finished but I wanted to show you the the basics of the album basically so that for example this would be a nice grandma present because grandmas like taking um, pictures of their grandchildren for example to anywhere they go and especially at Christmas they like taking things with them you know because they're going to see family and friends or friends mainly or neighbours or whoever they want to brag about um, <laughs> about their um, you know whoever they want to brag to about their grandchildren uh, that then is the ideal opportunity for them to take something like this with them and then they can say yeah but my you know my daughter or my my daughter-in-law made this and you know right so that's the making of our album see there done how long did that take four minutes okay now to make the pockets I have already cut my strips here because um, that's a fiddle as well sometimes see and then you don't do it at the end but never mind okay so we put strips of tape along the edges here I just cut them by feeling how long they should be um, and this is extra thin stri sticky strip which I still had the um, stamping up one is a little bit thicker so you might want to consider for this you might want to consider the thinner one because the, the thicker you get um, the um, you know the less width of paper that you can put in there of course so let's just cut these things off I think that was a lot quicker than, um, than doing, the, doing it the other way around And then if you do this, that will help to get the thing off later on. This is the same as a piercing tool. This is my mum's, I think. <laughs> All right. Let's take these off. Mm. And of course, then it doesn't work as you're filming. Okay. And another one, that one came off easily. And this one. Now I have to get them in the bin because generally they just stick to my hand. Let me just see if I can oh, get rid of them. Yep, they're gone. <laughs> so, this very easily, you just squeeze it down like that. These are the flaps. Then we turn it round. And you, you're going to have to choose which one is your front. So which way you're going to open up your album. How did it work here? Let's just have a look at this one again. Like that. Yeah, see? So it's the same. And then this is the front. So we're going to leave this plain. This is the middle. We're going to leave this plain as well. And here we're going to put one of these. Right? And then we're going to put two... Or we could put actually two here and one on the outside yeah so then yeah let's do that so then the outside is clean okay so this one is one that goes here okie dokie so this is going to go on there and it seems to be a little bit too wide let's try this one okay I'm just going to cut off the scored edge there and I have here I have already cut my two sides and my bottom but before that we adhere that we are going to have to do something else 
Right, first of all, my DSP. So I'm going to put this like that. What about, yep. Yeah. Should we have the drops going that way? That's more logical, isn't it? Yep, yeah. okay. So, glue. Okay. That doesn't help. Don't say I have to... Ah, oh, yeah, and of course then loads comes out, doesn't it? So when that happens, I just do that. And then it's gone onto the two pages. And then at least it's not so much on one page. So there is my one. And there is the other. Obviously, do take more care when you're doing this. There we go. Now we have a nice flow going. May it continue. <laughs> and while we're at it, I'm going to put the flaps on as well. They go down, so let's put them like this. Right. I'm avoiding the blackberry bliss in here because I've chosen Lost Lagoon as my background, so I'm doing all the um, the, the the Lost Lagoon one sides. I'm using those and the yellow ones, the Hello Honey ones. All right. Okay. So that's our back, and then on here we were going to keep the front and then the middle, and then the inside is going to have a little pocket. Oh, these things always take a long time to take these. But I mean, it's nice. If something like this I would do in an evening and then I just enjoy crafting and, and watching a Miss Marple or something like that. <laughs> okay, and then we've got here, I've got these little bits cut ready. These were the, uh, the sixth design I needed. And let's... Oh, yeah, okay, that red stuff is now sticking to my fingers. And let's stick that on here. And that then creates our pocket there. See, I've got another red one. Why? Okay. So that's the... See, I, when, when the video is finished, I'll just put some, some glue on the edges. Look, it's coming undone. Okay. But I just want to show you... That you can do this. I just want to really. I just want to show you the mechanics of it. Once you've done it, um, you know. Once so, yeah. So this one is the front. This one is the inside. So we have bigger pockets here. I'm not going to put anything there because you can put pictures in there and stuff. So we're going to do the inside. So we just need to have a look. So we're not do that so we're not yeah that's nice and then we have that one and this one here that's a bit yellow though yeah that's fine I think that's fine actually that's gonna have to go like that and that should go like this oh yeah that's okay because then we have a different pattern see or maybe I was meant to use that side <laughs> who knows and um, try to measure it quite accurately, but as usual, I can't remember which one was width and which one was sideways, so there we go. Well, I could have used that one again as well, doesn't matter. Okay, and now we have another two of these to put on, and let's put that one here. So we have the sides again. I mean, I'm doing this really quickly. Obviously, you can stop and start the the tutorial, and then you can just catch up. Um, mainly, I I wanted to do this um, because in the new year there'll be a new catalog, the spring summer catalog, and I have to say there is some g g gorgeous paper in there, and I'm getting that paper, but. To be honest, I don't use all that much. 
concentrate. Uh, I don't use all that much DSP, so I might want to share it with some of you. Keep a keep a lookout, I would say. Watch out what I'm planning on doing. Okay, so that can go here. So keep watching the tutorials. There will be lots of surprises soon. Okay, and then this one can go here. Oh, that's a bit too wide again, but I'm going to take it off that side so the uh, the miss scored. Oh, can you still see the miss scored? I can't. <laughs> no, it's still there, but obviously we're just going to ignore it. So yes, when you're um, making this, do when I'm telling you about the scoring, do pause and cut it, and then do play again and then go on like that because I'm get, trying to get rid of, <laughs> of these red tape things, packings, oh dear. Okay, this goes straight in the middle. No. Okay, gone. Um, there we go. And then we'll do this one here. Okay, so you've only got three. Uh, if you keep if you keep it to being a um, just a twelve by twelve sheet, then you can you only have three pockets. So that's okay, I think. It's nice to have the pocket here and to have two pockets there, and then three pockets here, and then um, you have a plain back and a plain front. You can obviously decorate this with. Um, a stamped um, card that says maybe Christmas 2014 or whatever um, but or a picture but what I have prepared are these so these are just white a uh, whisper white card and I have put um, the same size I would normally also like I said edge the corners you know round the corners and edge with a dauber um, but obviously time wise I just wanted to do it like this um, and I've got two more but also here I've made a smaller one because I just had that left over basically and I thought oh it would be nice to have a smaller one we'll put that on there and we can put that in here look but I've got two more and one goes in here yes yeah, so that's the same so you need to just maybe so that the same doesn't go with the same pattern and that can go in here as well oh no of course here I've got another pocket here of course there we go so that's our little album uh, anyway that's the mechanics of it that's what I call it the mechanics of it and um, if you make this at home obviously you can refine it you can like I said edge the corners um, and that's that's how you make a pocket basically um, do look out for more tutorials because I'm going to make more um, more albums I've got lots more here uh, than I made before I started doing stamping up so um, I want to remake them in stamping up colors and stamping up paper so thank you very much for watching I think this wasn't too long and I hope that um, yeah you enjoyed it and if you like it give me a thumbs up do subscribe and do feel free to share my videos with your friends so they can enjoy uh, making these little albums too. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!